Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for September. This is for Aries Sun Moon Rising in Venus. Keep in mind that this reading is for September. So I have my eyes closed and I'm just waiting and I can just see light. Okay, I can see the sun, I can see the light, I can see brightness. So happiness in your glory. So you may be, I don't know what's going on here, but I see a lot of uh, brightness, sun, light, you know, whatever that is. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but I see the eight of cups right after that. So there's some sort of saying goodbye. Maybe this saying goodbye is going to make you happy. I don't know. I really don't know. But the next card is the six of wands, which is victory, progress, leadership, heading in the right direction. There's like this newfound confidence. Okay. I feel as though you're making progress. You're heading towards happiness. That's what that is. You are headed towards happiness. Um, shedding the light. You know, just uh, shedding the light. That's what, It's like something is, is about to happen that is going to... It may make you feel lighter. It may make you feel better. I don't know what this is, but it's very positive. It is very positive energy here. It's King of Wands. That's your energy. I just saw the King of Wands. Very... Uh, it, it, action oriented I feel that I see I see strength I see confidence I see um, building yourself up um, high vibrational um, noble um, highly respected um, in control in control so you may be gaining control of a situation there's some sort of higher power because i just see the hierophant so there's some sort of higher power that is guiding you or helping you could be god could be whatever your higher power is but i believe as though you are receiving some sort of guidance from somewhere that is leading you someplace Let's see what we got for Aries. Um, recovery. Some sort of recovery. You may even be recovering something that is lost. If you've lost something, you may be finding it this month. It could be peace of mind. Okay, it could be peace. Um, I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, you're going to be very satisfied with the outcome. Because I was seeing the Nine of Cups when I said that. So some sort of satisfaction is coming. Um, Aries. Aries looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, it's time to relax, Aries. <laughs> Whatever that means. You need to just relax. Just relax. Let go of your fear. Open up. And maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're letting go of the fear and you're starting to open up. You're thinking more positive. Things are changing for the better. Ooh. Look at you're in you got everything in order. You're in control. You're the boss, right? You're in you are in control. You're in your element. Wow. Wow, you are a force to be reckoned with. You and this is highly respected. So you're the boss. Everybody knows it. You're in control. You're organized. You got everything in order and it looks like you're about ready to take action. You've done all your homework. It's time. Now I saw something before I turned this camera on. What was it? Damn it. It left really fast too. It came and it went. Oh, oh, I've been, I was, uh, I'm, I'm finally ready. It's like, I'm finally ready. I was finally, I've been sitting here for a gosh darn hour thinking about doing your reading. It's been about an hour. I've been sitting here, you know, waiting and it's like, okay, here I am. I'm finally going to do it. And then but as soon as I said that, I said it out loud to myself because I talk out loud to my people. Anyway, um, I said, okay, I'm finally going to do it. And I thought, that's for Aries. You're finally going to do it. So you are finally going to do, you're finally going to do something. It's, you, you, everything is ordered. You've got everything in order. You've got the plan. And now I think you're about to take control of whatever it is. Um, you're definitely the boss this month. You definitely are. Um, you're the leader. You're the leader. Um, nine of Wands. You may be growing weary. You may be growing weary. You may have some doubts. In, you may have some doubts, but I think that you have a lot of strength and you have a lot of stamina. And you may have been wounded in the past, but all those past wounds have really 
helped you to become who you are. They've helped you to build your character. They have helped you to get prepared. They've helped you to be the leader that you are. Okay? They've helped you to gain respect because you don't give up. Anyhow. Judgment. Judgment. So this is a release. It is. It's time. It's time. Page of Swords. This is a message you don't want to hear, perhaps. You may be delivering a message to somebody that they don't want to hear. I mean, if you're the boss, sometimes that happens, right? The boss doesn't always deliver pleasant messages, and that is the truth. So somebody may be getting a message that they don't want to hear. Could be a child. Um, could be a son, could be anybody, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to keep getting the cards and then we're going to go justice. We have some karma here. Karma, karma. So whatever we're dealing with, this has to do with some sort of karma. Past life karma. Hmm. You can't avoid it anymore. You can't avoid this finality. This is finality. This is fair and just. This is a fair and just decision. Whatever you are about to do, it's the right thing. Okay, it is the right thing. You may have been avoiding it because this is avoiding and this is avoiding. So you may have been avoiding making this. And I was avoiding doing your reading for the last. It's weird. You may have been avoiding doing something, but I think that you are ready to go into it blindfolded. You see the, the book. It's like you're ready. You're, it's like you're going to go into it with blind faith, perhaps. Um... And here's your decision. You you have a choice. You're about to make some sort of decision. Decision, decision, decision. You are about, and the decision is going to be made this month, okay? You're about to take action. You are a force to be reckoned with. Should anybody reckon with you? I wouldn't even. You Somebody may be shutting down emotionally, not communicating, not no longer emotionally invested, not able to master their emotions. This could be in a very emotional time. You could be dealing with somebody who sees themselves as a victim, doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions, and you decide to, you know, call them out on it. I don't know if that's what it is. Um, Ten of Cups, happiness is coming. You're moving on. You are moving to a better place. You're heading towards happiness. Headed? towards happiness look at that and it's like you can see it okay all right so you are headed towards happiness that's just how it's going to be laid down there too but the thing is is i think that you guys have to take some sort of action you are definitely making progress you're headed in the ha into a better place there is somebody in your arena that may be very childish or immature could even be a child that has been hindering you this person um may cause you to they may be the one that actually helps you to move on maybe this person you know puts their nose in where they shouldn't this person is petty this person is childish this person brings conflict into your life i'm not sure this could be an aries leo sagittarius could be a child i don't know it could you could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio you could be dealing with the libra um we have scorpio up there doesn't make me dealing with another Aries. I do feel as though your challenge is doing what's right for you. Your challenge is going into this. But just do it. Do whatever you got to do to bring balance back. And I think that's what you're going to do. I think I see I see a warrior here that has gained a lot of wisdom and I think and you are very wise. I think that you have all the wisdom that you need. And whatever you've been planning on doing that you have been putting off because I was putting this off Whatever you have been putting off, I think that there's no more putting it off. I think that you are ready to go, okay? You're ready to leave this trouble behind and go towards this happiness. And you are headed towards happiness. Externally, I feel like there's some sort of relationship that is ending. Could be, be between, uh, you know, a family members. I don't know. I'm not saying that you should end something with your family member. But, I mean, it could be a partnership. It could be a work situation. I don't know. But there is a relate. This is completion. The Ten of Cups is a goddamn completion. And I know a lot of people don't re don't uh, mention it. But tens are completions. Oh, this is a nine, isn't it? Why do I always say ten? Didn't I see the Nine of Cups at the beginning? Anyway, I said the Ten of Cups because I saw happiness at the beginning. Makes sense. Whatever. Anyhow, um, Nine of Cups. 
And I saw that, didn't I? I saw it, but I didn't. Oh, it was so confusing. And this is confusing. And I and I think that you have been in a state of confusion, but now you've gained some sort of truth. It's like you're 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 wide awake now. You've this is clarity. This is like you're seeing things. At, you're highly aware. You're, it's like it, here's indecision. And here's indecision, but I feel like that indecision changes to the decision being made. Okay, the decision is being made. Yes, you were in a state of confusion, but I don't think you are anymore. Now, closure, 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 closure. I think that you guys are closing something out. You're you're closing out something that was karmic. Okay, this, you were a karmic situation with somebody that may have played a victim. This person may have had a victim mentality. This person may have used emotional blackmail as a tactic towards you. And I feel like now you have an opportunity to let go and release, take back power, take back control, and go after a happier or go to a happier place. So this is satisfaction. This is a wish being granted. This right here in your now position, the two of pentacles, this is a choice, a decision. You have to choose. I see that you guys are going to be making the choice that you have been delaying. It's like you're not going to delay. And it could be a sudden decision. It's like whatever you have been delaying, the delay is over. I feel like you are ready to go and you are going to make that decision to go. You may be moving. You may be scheduling a move. Um, wherever you're headed toward, you're headed towards a lot of happiness and peace. And pe I see peace. Um, this two of pentacles is trying to find balance. And, and, and you've been trying to find balance. And I think this month you are going to find it. And I think you're going to find it because you're going to let something go. I think that you're going to drop something. I think that you've been going back and forth. There's been chaos and you've been holding on to too much. And I think you're going to let go of something. Um... This is in your hopes and fears. I think you're hoping to regain control and you're hoping to regain composure. And I think you're going to. I do. I think that you're going to be very, very attractive this month. I think that you have a lot to be proud of. I think that you're going to be vibrating at a very high level. I think that you are a natural leader and people are going to see that. I see, think that you are going to be right in your element and people are going to be drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to your vibration. I, I just do. Um, people are going to be headed towards you. It's like they're going to, you're, it's like you're, it's like a very magnetic kind of thing. I don't know where that's coming from, but, um, your challenge is standing up and doing what's right for you. That's your challenge. Don't let whoever it is that has been putting you down or who has been making you feel guilty stop you okay don't let them stop you okay it's, it's 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 time for you to go it's time for you to move on this is down in your approach position move on the six of swords is move on this is a transition this is a rite of passage you guys are headed towards something more peaceful more satisfying uh, more glorified no kidding where you can actually be yourself. You got a higher power guiding you, which I knew that you did. I don't know if you are headed towards a Taurus or a Taurus is helping you. Doesn't have to be, but you guys are being divinely guided. And I think think that your 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 inner guide is speaking to you. I think that you are believing in yourself. If not, you should be. I think that um, you may be headed to even towards a commitment. Okay. Um, Definite wish fulfillment here. You guys are headed towards, uh, you know, this is heaven. This is heaven sent. This is a heavenly place. Okay. This is, this is, this is very peaceful. This is a time of hope and inspiration and renewal and healing. You, the nine of cups. So this, this is a wish being granted. From God. <laughs> okay. God, wish, wish. Okay. You are going to be the star of the show this month. You are the star. You are the, you are going to be shining so bright. 
I'm telling you what, you are going to be right in your element. You're going to be vibrating very highly. You're going to be, this is going to be a very satisfying month for you. Something that you have been praying for. I'm telling you what, something that you are, have been praying for. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This is, this is really good. Um, King of Wands reversed. Oh my God. Don't, don't doubt it. If don't, don't be loathing. Don't, don't, uh, feel guilty. Don't feel guilty for uh, going after happiness. I feel as though you guys may may go through a period of self-doubt, self-criticism. You may feel like you're not good enough or you may feel like you're not strong enough. Maybe you maybe you go through a period of weakness, okay? You go through a period of weakness or you go through a period of frustration and there's something from the other side that comes to pull you out of it. I'm just I mean, I hate I don't say this very often. But this is protection. Okay, the star card is protection. It's angelic help. It's help from above. <laughs> you got a new opportunity coming. And it may be a little scary. It may be a little scary. You have a new enterprise here where you will have an opportunity to go down a path that you have never been down before. When you get to the end of this road, you will have more stability and security than you even imagined. But you are going to have to take that step. So you are going to be presented with that open doorway. My advice is to hold your head up high. Don't let your old self-doubts and your old guilt and, you know, your, your self-loathing and I'm not good enough and I can't do it get in the way because you are the boss. You're the boss. You can do it. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. You know what you need to do. Everything is order in order. You are ready. Just do it. So I feel like this is a month where you guys actually move on my advice your approach is to move on because wherever it is whatever in this opportunity gets presented to you you know it may look like it's a little scary it may look like it's not too fun it may be dark it may not it may not you may not see the light at the end of the tunnel but at the end of the tunnel there is light there is happiness there is satisfaction there is wish fulfillment go This is a golden opportunity to start over on a new path. Don't let fear get in the way. You are being guided. You're going to get what you want at the end of it. So I feel like this is a month of, you know, I think that you've been, you've been reluctant to take this road. But it's time for this transition, whatever it is. You are moving to a better place. Good luck.